friends, Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. In this video, I'm gonna show you four new activities that I have created for my first graders to do. You're gonna see the first activity is a fractions activity. The second activity is subtraction, working from, subtracting from uh, 19 and under. And then the last two activities you're going to see work on uh, phonics skills. You could use these activities for spelling words or sight words or um, phonetic skills, reading skills that you're working on with your students. So I hope you stay tuned to the end of the video for those two activities as well. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into it. This activity is called Donut Fractions. So following the directions, this is how you do this activity. You are going to choose a donut card first. So I'm going to take the first one and place it on my mat. I am going to look at this fraction and I am going to find the matching card. So here I see three fourths. So I need to find, oops, that goes over there. I need to find three fourths. Once I have found the card, I'm going to place that on the mat as well. So now I have matched up my donut that shows three fourths to my fraction, three fourths. The last step is I am going to demonstrate this fraction down here with Play-Doh. So I have some pink Play-Doh here. You could of course give your students any Play-Doh they want for their donut. And they're gonna roll it out into like a long snake. And this is kind of how I do it. Then they're going to use that to make a donut on the mat. Okay, now I'm going to cut my donut into fourths because that is the one we are working on. So let's go ahead and I'm using um, a plastic little um, Play-Doh cutter, but you don't have to have one. You could just rip it with your hands. So I'm gonna cut it down like this and I'm gonna cut it across like this to make four pieces. Okay, and then I have to show the fraction three-fourths. So I'm gonna take one away, and now I have three-fourths. Now I have displayed the same donut fraction down here with my dough. Once students have completed that, they can go ahead, choose a new card, and start a new one. So this donut would be one-half. I'm going to place that fraction on my mat. And then I'm gonna show one half down here. Okay, I'm actually not gonna cut this one. I'm just going to display half of the donut just like this. Hi there, friends. This activity is called Candy Shop Subtraction. Students are practicing subtracting from 19 and lower. This activity comes with a direction card that looks like this. I always print my direction cards on label paper and then I place them on a Ziploc bag. Here are the directions. Of course, I keep the activity inside the plastic bag when we are not using it. These are the subtraction cards. This is the mat that it comes with. I always place my mats into a plastic sleeve like this. And then it also comes with the candy pieces to help the students subtract. So the first thing that they're going to do is they are going to take a subtraction card. I'm going to take this card and we are just going to practice an easy one. Five minus two. So what the children will do is place five candy pieces on the mat. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we are going to subtract two, so we're going to take away one, two. How many are left? I have three candy pieces left on my mat. Now we are going to write in our answer. You can use a dry erase marker, and the students can go ahead and place their answer on the card. Or, I have a movable hundred chart that I love to let my students use. This is by Learning Resources and you can find it on Amazon. I have my Amazon affiliate store linked in the description box below and then this um, is on that shop. So if you wanna check out that link. But what I do is 
Instead of having them write the number, I might have them find the number on the chart and then place it on their card like that. Okay, so we just enjoy using that with some of these activities. Now, there are harder problems. So let's say you are going to do 16 minus five. They would of course count out 16 pieces. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I have 16 pieces of candy on my mat. I'm going to subtract five. So let's take away five. One, two, three, four, five. How many do I have left? Students will count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 16 minus five is 11. And they can place that on there or they could write it with their marker. Now you could also have them use the pieces in a different way. So let me show you that. Let's go back to this one, five minus two. All right, so I have five pieces on my mat. You could have them count backwards as they take them away. So I have five, four, three. So now I know I have three left. My answer is three. So that would be a great one to do when they're doing the more involved problems like when I had 16 on here then when they count back they could count back 15, 14, 13, 12, 11 so they knew their answer was 11. Okay so multiple ways to use this activity. I really hope your students enjoy. This word work activity is an auto shop. We are going to fix the cars by building our words. Now this activity can be used with any word list that your students are working on. It could be spelling words, it could be sight words, and today we are working on words that have the L ending. So this is a word family and it's kind of a phonics skill, it's kind of a rhyming skill. And what I did is I started writing the words on the cars. But what your students will do is they will write their words themselves so they will look at their list of words that they're working on. And again, we're working on the L family. And they will write a word on a car. So I wrote the word tell and I used my dry erase marker. Then we are going to build the word tell on one of the auto shop cards. Your students will use the letter cards that come with the activity to build their word, just like this. So here we have tell, T-E-L-L, -L, tell. Tell rhymes with bell. So now the students will change the T and they will find the B and make bell. Then they can go on to another word. This is just one example. You could use your spelling words and your sight words and any kind of phonics skill that you're working on as long as you have a list of words. I hope your students enjoyed this activity. Okay, this is a word work activity that you could use with any word list that you choose. If you have a spelling word list that you're working on, a sight word list that you're working on, or like me, we are working on long vowel words. So that's how we're going to use this activity. Students will take an envelope and one of the mailbox strips. They're going to write one of their words that they're working on on the envelope. I'm using a dry erase marker because I have laminated all the pieces. Now, we are working on long vowel words. So here is long A, game. Now the students are going to build the word with all of their stamps. Okay, then they can go on and choose another envelope, write another word, and continue practicing. Hope your students enjoy. Happy learning. Bye.